Two phones that need no introduction, Samsung's Note 7 and Google's Nexus 6P, go head-to-head -head today in an all-out speed test. The apps that we'll be using in this particular test will be Google Duo, Sonic Dash, YouTube, Google Maps, Amazon, McDonald's, Google Play Store, the phone dialer, the camera app, and loading a web page on Google Chrome. We will be doing the first round with the memory cleared out and no app shall be preloaded for advantage. Then, after the first round, we will see how long each phone takes to draw up the respective apps after they've already been loaded. Both phones are running under the same Wi-Fi connection, no power saving modes have been enabled, and no speed en enhancements have been applied. So without further ado, let's begin. As you can see, no apps are preloaded onto either phone. So let's pull up the timer here and begin. The first app will be Google, Google Duo, as I mentioned. Uh, the Nexus SP seems to be pulling ahead here. Um, Sonic Dash is the next app here. This is a more heavier app, so it will take a little more time to load. And there we go. It's almost there. Okay, there we go. Tabbing out. Next is YouTube. Pretty simple app. Um, all right, the next SSP still has a slight lead. Google Maps is next. And then Amazon. Oh, there you go. Next, uh, Note 7 took the lead. Now onto the McDonald's app. And Note 7 is still ahead. The next SSP is still a little bit behind, but not, it's not too shabby. Um, selfie snap. Pop in and out. Uh, open up theverge.com on Google Chrome, which is a very RAM heavy app. And this will be the final test for lap one. All right, the Note 7 is done. And about a minute and three seconds. And the Nexus SP had about a minute four. Now onto the second lap. Um, this isn't really a test of speed. It's just all the apps are preloaded now. So um, there's no need for anything. But uh, as you can see, the Nexus 6P in this case has really gone ahead of the Note 7. It's about two to three apps ahead of it even. So I guess the RAM management is better since there's no bloatware. And um, it's taking a little time to load this web page on the Nexus 6P and then on the Note 7 it loaded instantly. So I guess that Snapdragon 820 really helped out the Note 7. And we end the Note 7 with a minute and 37 as the Nexus 6P ends at a minute and 40 seconds. So about a three second differential, which isn't too bad. With a three second difference, you can't go wrong with either phone. The Nexus 6P doesn't have the bloatware weighing it down like Samsung does, but even so, it pulled ahead of the Note 7 for the majority of the test. If you were to compare these two in terms of cars, I would say that the 6P has a much faster acceleration, but the Note 7 rakes in the higher speed, which is what matters the most at the finish line. Anyway, 3 seconds is no big deal and shouldn't be a deciding factor in choosing a device. Thank you guys for watching Plus Minus, where we are everything plus more, minus less.